Hi guys, Esteban 55101 and let's talk today about how to insert accessories. So let's have a look at what the accessories are and let's look in the open library icon. Let's click on the icon here and let's search for the accessories folder. So if we open this up, we're going to see all the different kinds of accessories that you can incorporate into your structure, into your tube and joint structure. And the simplest way to go ahead and explain this would be to just go ahead and drag and drop. So let's just drag and drop, uh, for instance, in this case, an AO clip. And we see that the AO clip is here. So let's see. So right now I've inserted an accessory. I dragged and dropped it. And now I'll go ahead and just show you really quickly. We'll, we'll move this out of the way. And we can go ahead and get actually get rid of these accessories here which is the uh, ones I had already put in just to show you how we go ahead and in insert those uh, those accessories in this in this case the AO clip so right now what I want to do is I want to move this AO clip closer to my structure and I want to find a reference point that is going to work for the manipulation right so I'm going to look for this end end point I zoom out and I'm going to go and search for the end point or the midpoint of my tube, uh, my joint. So I'm going to click it here. We can see that it's co uh, connecting to that end point, that middle line. Uh, what, what I want to do now is go ahead and rotate it. So I'm going to use the red axis. And I'm going to just click on one end here, click on the other. And I'm going to look for the other midpoint in the opposite or in this bottom joint here, just so that we are parallel to our structure. So if we zoom out, we can see that we are exactly where the AO clip is needs to be as far as how it's going to sit on the structure. So what do we want to do? We'll go ahead and copy this over. So I inserted one, and if I want, I can insert another one and do that same procedure, or I can go ahead and just select the one I have already installed, click the Move icon, press Control to go ahead and make a copy of this. And now what I would like to do, well, it seems that we are a little bit off here. So we can go ahead and actually line this up even better. So we'll go ahead and grab that center point here and we'll click it onto the uh, the midpoint there. So right now we're exactly where we need to be. And now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and select this, select using the move icon. I'll press control on the keyboard. And from this midpoint here, which I'm zooming in, I'm going to click and I'm going to go ahead and bring this over to that same midpoint here and I'll click on that same midpoint on this particular joint set and if we zoom out we can see that now we have the exact same AO clip on the other end and we're gonna go ahead and grab select the two you can select two you can select one we'll click on the one here I can press the shift button on the keyboard and click on this one here as well and we can see that now we have the two that have been selected. I will once again use the move icon and I will press control. So now we're going to make a copy of the two and what I'm going to do is find again that midpoint, midline and I'm going to go ahead and drag those down to the midpoint where we join the other joint sets here and if we look at it now we can see that we have created uh, or we have placed rather four AO clips which is how I am going to be installing this uh, surface here to the structure so if I move back let's look at this from our side view and I'll go ahead and move this back to where it needs to be. And we can see now that we have placed those exactly where they're going to be 
uh, used to install the surface in this particular structure. So that's how you insert the accessories. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and uh, insert other accessories and it's going to work the same way. Let's open this up. Uh, for instance, we can go ahead and let's let's go ahead and drag and drop a AW hook. And let's look at this from the front. We'll move this closer to our structure. Look at it from the side. You see where we are. And uh, I think I'm pretty close now, so I'll zoom in and see exactly where I am. So front view, I'm just going to try to find the center of this hook. And I'll go ahead and drag it over to the center here of our joint. We're trying to always work with center lines. And then we can see that we have, uh, let's look at this a little bit more like this. We'll move it a little bit this way. And for instance, as an example, if we wanted to use a, a hook in this structure, then that would be the way to install it um, in the structure, right? So we're using the move icon and we're looking for reference points to go ahead and click onto. So that's a, a hook. And we can do this again with all the different kinds of accessories that we have. We can open it up again. Uh, and then we can choose the different kinds of accessories, right? Uh, we can go ahead and install some AW hangers. If you wanted to ins include perhaps a, a bin of some sort that would be uh, essentially sitting in, excuse me, a clip that would be essentially sitting in this particular area here, or it would be sliding into that area. So if we look at this from the front view, let's see where our, our uh, accessory is. We'll drag it over and we'll bring it closer to our structure. Let's look at it maybe from the side view to see that we can zoom it, uh, bring it even closer. And let's say we're going to, uh, maybe we'll install a, uh, we'll, we'll put it here. We'll put it on the top. We're going to say that we're going to have a bin that is going to be placed using this uh, AW hanger. So in this case, I'm going to have to go ahead and rotate it since it's a component. Uh, any component that you're dragging and dropping over from the icon, the open library icon, you're going to go ahead and be able to click on it. And once you press the move icon, it'll give you the option to go ahead and turn it around using the various different plus signs. Uh, we've turned it around. Now, I, uh, again, I'm going to want to look for that uh, midpoint. And I'm going to go ahead and look for that midpoint in my structure in a particular joint. In this case, we've clicked it onto that top part. Uh, let's look at it from the back view. And we can see that we're in the right placement. We just need to slide it over to uh, so that it doesn't sit exactly on on top of this other joint that's uh, right there, that is placed in the there right now. So let's move it over. Uh, let's just say we'll move it over six inches uh, as a, as an example, and then we can see that we have place the uh, AW hanger accessory uh, where we would like it to go. Maybe we can go ahead and move it a little bit over and so that it's a little more centered. So there we go, right? So that's kind of how you're going to always go ahead and use the accessories. Clicking on the file, uh, excuse me, the icon, clicking on the folder, opening it up, choosing your particular accessory, dragging and dropping. And then we're working with the different camera views to go ahead and bring it closer to where you would like the accessory to go. And once you're close enough to begin to manipulate it a little bit more in detail, then you can go ahead and begin to rotate your piece.
and look for once again reference points and things of that nature to find the particular placement of your accessory. So it takes a little bit of uh, playing around, messing around with the tool, the the, the move I, the move tool, the move icon, uh, the rotating tool, and using the various different camera views to figure out exactly where you're going to place your accessories. So that's how you go ahead and install and insert accessories. So that's it for today. We'll see you guys next time.